scroll down. The portal is an online system that provides free training on responding to pipeline incidents to anybody. Um, it's, it's geared toward emergency responders, but it's available for 911 dispatchers, it's available for emergency managers, law enforcement officers, EMS, and it's, it's free training on pipeline incidents. Welcome to Pipeline Emergencies 101. First responders have kind of a unique uh, role in responding to pipeline incidents. They've got a, a couple things they have to do, important things right away. Uh, isolate the facility, uh, identify there's need for evacuation for the, for the folks that are going to be uh, in, in, their, in their communities, and then uh, make sure that we've got access to get in as an operator and, and do what we need to do. That's one of the reasons that we wanted to do it, is make sure that it got out there so that it was something that, so we could keep firefighters, responders, and the public safe. The one thing that we don't want to have happen is for an emergency responder to go into a situation that they're not ready for. And so if we can get that information out to all the emergency responders across the country, not just around TransCanada's pipeline, but every pipeline in this country, all the better. And in the future, it'll also provide additional information, shared learnings from pipeline companies like TransCanada and others, um, as far as things that come up in the future that we need to have sent out to the fire service. Because this portal is pipeline training, free online training for emergency responders. Sweet. Say So the first step is to identify whether you've got a pipeline in your district. You can do that through the mapping system. Yep. And is that link going to be on here to get uh, to that? Yes, sir. Okay. It is already. So that's the first step. The second step is then once you've identified this, and it's not to be your district, I'd say within 100 miles of your district because it's mutual aid or whatever, right? Yep. And then the next thing is to get registered on this and have some clues what the hell you're doing when you get there. Absolutely. Yeah. And there you go. Oh, okay. You're taking a class. Not only do you, can you take it on the computer, you use it on your smartphone. Oh, great. Right. So, and you can use it for your iPad, whatever you need to. I thought it was extremely easy. I think you could use it in the, you know, in the office or at the station. Just log in as you know whenever you have downtime to start you know, learning part of the uh, modules that it has to offer. Or if you uh, need a refresher, you can actually take your laptop out in the field and you know plug and play. Part of part. This is absolutely free of charge free to everybody. It's kind of a no-brainer. It's a piece of cake. Uh, and again, I mean, it's really two simple steps. One, identify whether you have pipelines in your district or your community or even near your area. And then the second is get online and start learning what to do if, if you have an emergency in one of these sites. It's, you know, designed by adult learners for adult learners. Amazing. And this needs to be on everybody's uh, 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 iPads or portable phones or smartphones or whatever. Uh, because when you get to this type of emergency, it's not something you're going to deal with every day. So any chief that's uh, out there that's anywhere near a pipeline needs to get involved in this program. It's a piece of cake. It's, it's really easy to do.